sharing access, what abilities will you enable your collaborators? Now, after you make the decision to share a document, your sharing access choices will appear. You're going to have three different options of sharing a document with a collaborator. The first option is can edit, the second option is can comment, and the third option is can view. Now the can edit option allows collaborators to completely edit, erase, change, and pretty much do whatever they want to the document. Second, the can comment allows collaborators to only comment on a document. And these comments do not affect the document in any way. The comments are on the side to the document and they have no effect on the document. And the last option is can view where collaborators are only able to view a document. They can't alter it, they can't edit it, they cannot change it in any way. So right now I'm gonna take you to my Google Drive and I'm gonna show you where you're able to choose which type of sharing access you would like to enable for your collaborators. Then I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like to see a document with can edit, to see a document that has can comment, and to see a document that has can view. So you'll be able to differentiate all three types of sharing access. So now let's go to Google Drive and let's take a look. So here we are in Google Drive, and I'm gonna click on a document right here that says Agenda Curriculum. And if I would like to share that document, I can go to this icon right here, which says Share. And now let's say I wanna share this with a, another teacher. From. So I click on this box where it says Can Edit, and I can switch between Can Edit, Can Comment, and Can View. So right now I'm gonna take you to my Gmail, where I received three different documents, one that says can edit, one that says can comment, and one that says can view, and you'll be able to differentiate the three and see what they look like from the other end. So now this document was shared with me. It says Avella Chemistry, and it says can view example. So Francis Peter has invited me to view this document. So I'm gonna open it in Docs, and you can immediately see a box right here that says view only. And it says you can only view this document to make changes and I'd have to ask the owner for edit access. So I'm gonna go here and right now I'm, I'm highlighting, pressing buttons. There is nothing I can change with this document. This is what happens when you receive a document with can view access only. Now the trick here is that I can make a copy of this document. Say okay. And because this is a copy that I own, I'm now able to edit and delete like this and make all sorts of changes. Now let's go to can comment. Okay, it's an algebra one quiz. Let's open it up. And now I'm able to make suggestions to this document. So for example, Highlight, add a comment, is this a unit one quiz is my comment, I'll post, and there you have it, I'll post another comment, click add comment, I like this word problem and post. So if you take a look, viewing grants the least access, then once you're able to make comments, you're in suggestion mode where you have a little bit more access because you can write comments on the side of a document. And now lastly, I'm gonna go to a can edit document where you have the greatest access. So let's go to Gmail. Let's open it up. It says here, I've been invited to edit this document. And because I'm able to edit this document, I'm also sort of a part owner of this document. So I can make any changes and do anything to this document that I feel like. So for example, I can just delete the title or I can change the number. Or I can just add, or I can just add random letters. And if you take a look at this top corner with the pencil here, you'll see that I'm in editing mode. And I also have a chance to go into suggestion mode or viewing mode. Now editing mode has the greatest access, but if I wanna to go to suggestion mode, I can simply click on this and I'm back in suggestion mode. Or I can go to editing mode. 
Now you can also post comments in editing mode, just as you can in suggestion mode. So let's go back to the slides presentation. So there are your three different types of sharing access with Ken Edit having the most access and Ken View having the least access. Right now I would just like to say thank you for your time and please watch the next video in the series. Use Google Docs to motivate student collaboration.